Hi everyone, my name is Marian and I'm the CEO of Amodo. Amodo is a provider of a mobility platform that enables insurance companies and other mobility players to create new types of products and services built on usage and behavior data. Mobly is one of our most recent projects that we find perfect to be the perfect showcase for the DIA because it clearly demonstrates not only how the companies can benefit by using our mobility platform, but also how they can create value for the local mobility market. I'm very happy and proud to present the Mobly project today together with Herit, CEO of Mobly. Herit, over to you. Thank you, Marion, for um, this kind introduction. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Gerrit Lutz. I'm the CEO of Mobly. Mobly was founded six months ago um, in Belgium as a spin-off of Balwaza Insurance. Let me briefly explain who is Balwaza Insurance. Balwaza is a Swiss-based mid-size insurance company, and they have taken a very bold decision. They said, okay, we went to several seminars, and we have seen a lot of things about UBI. We will do it completely different. You need to do it completely different. So I left the company, and we started the leanest company ever. In October, we started with no brand, no services, no hardware, no platform. And yes, we needed to launch a lot of things. Mobility means freedom. But in real life, consumers are not as free as they want to be. Looking to the existing mobility market, we see a lot of solutions, but solutions are fragmented. We see a lot of imbalance, intransparency, and unreliability. Mobly wants to change that. We want to really or want to put the customer back in the driver's seat. Many companies say they do, but in real life, they are following the money. The, the most important thing is the willingness of the customer to pay, the so-called holy gray. We call it the last mile in our connected car market or connected car proposition. Mobly is committed to make consumers mobile again using smart um, technology solutions. Therefore, we developed together with Amodo and we offer a mobility platform. Um, and we see mobility as a service, as insurance will be launched at the end of 2018, warranty, smart parking, and smart assistance. These four services will all be launched in 2018. And you could say that Mobly is a spin-off combining four activities of a startup company. When Taking um, to deliver this um, ambitious roadmap, sorry, to deliver this ambitious uh, roadmap and to achieve scale, which is very important, we built together an ecosystem of a number of important partners and we managed them to onboard them on the Amodo platform. In three months, we were able from zero to ready for markets with an app and a platform to launch this mobility platform thanks to Amodo. And let me now show you on the app of a consumer how it works. What is very important when we go to the app, um, we always put the customer first. Thus, the thing that we are showing over here is the customer view, the so-called front end. Of course, everything is arranged and managed in the back end. And what you see over here is the dashboard of our app. Um, I will explain it a little bit. So the status of my car. Today, my car is connected. We are using dongle-based technology. We are not married with dongle as such. But today, we are using existing technology in order to give a good view on the technical status of the car. This is the most important thing um, to share with you. So on the left side, you just see the status of the car. My car is connected. And today, there are no problems with my car. We are focusing on the technical status. Let us do uh, an extensive check um, of my car. Um, which is very important. We are monitoring currently or permanently the status of the car regarding defects. We can have an extensive check and it will check um, four um, circuits um, of my car. We'll do it right now in real life, which is always a challenge before an audience. And we'll see together there are no DTC error codes or no failures detected um, on my car. Which is a shame for this um, showcase. In real life, you could see over there some error codes, which we are currently translating towards individual or consumer understandable language. Going back to the dashboard, you have also seen a thing about fuel and battery. Why? Fuel, this is an accurate and real consumption of my car, 
so not data from um, the manufacturers, which enables us to provide car sharing or ride sharing mechanisms in the short term future. And on the right hand side, you will see something about battery. Battery is an important thing talking about technical defects. One out of five, five defects, sorry, of uh, car failures are linked to battery. The status of my battery is fine, which is very good. Let us take a closer look to um, the different features of the app. What was my last trip? I was coming over here to the Netherlands. So I've calculated and we have managed to, to get the speed, the route of the trip, sorry, uh, time in the car, fuel consumption, and all these kind of things, which can be important um, for car sharing and um, UBI in the future. Where is my car located? Today my car is parked at the hotel in uh, Amsterdam, and you need to believe me, but it's really over there. It's at the Molen, uh, to say it in Dutch, Molenwerf. Second one are trips. Trips are already known. I think you already already seen some cases like this that can be used for UBI and other things. Today and currently we are working on a model which enables us to predict joyriding. We are not using this data for an insurance proposition. We are using the da this data in order to, be to become smarter, to become more intelligent and to offer this to car sharing initiatives or to start with the car sharing and avoid joyriding problems in the future. There are some um, engaging, engagement sorry, uh, mechanisms in place, but let me go to another one, and that's the um, diagnostics part linked to the assistance on demand. Um, the car is monitored uh, permanently, so it means that if there is a problem, um, the app will send proactive notification to the consumer telling that there is something wrong with the car. I will give a concrete example. Imagine that it's winter, and it's quite difficult right now because it's very hot over there. But imagine it's winter, and on a Sunday evening, you on a Sunday evening, you get an instant message from your car that your battery is empty. We will be able, and we are able today, to change the battery and to avoid that on Monday morning you need to stay at home and don't go to work. We will replace your battery in time because the, DT or the dongle has sent a message. There was a proactive notification towards the consumer, and we are able to com communicate with the third party. Let's quickly do um, the um, assistance on demand, which is a new feature. Um, let's go back. That's always the thing when you are on stage. Yes, we did a very good job. <laughs> so yes, there is an error. Um, looking to the insurance market, but also to the assistance markets. Um, assistance is quite a closed system, but honestly, let's take a look. And people are sending messages. It's quite interesting to see that on the screen. Um, when looking to the insurance and the assistance markets, it's a very closed market. And I need to take uh, care of the timing, but really, how many breakdowns do you have per year? Honestly, zero. We think and we see that consumers are increasingly looking for tailor-made um, formulas, and we have now launched, based on this technology, the assistance on demand without subscription. So in the future, you can pay per breakdown, in-app payment is provided, you don't need to subscribe a contract, and we will also launch these, launch these kind of things for other services of one, one of them could be insurance and will be insurance in the future. I will quickly give the last word to Marion in Thanks. order to respect timing Thanks. and to thank you very much. Thank you, Gerrit. We see the market, the mobility is, uh, market is about to change significantly and the opportunity is vast. Uh, what we learned through the project so far is that, that there are two key success criteria that have to be met by the insurance or the other mobility players. First one, high level of innovation on a proposition level. Clearly, the technology is going to be the main catalyst for that one. And the second one, right partner with robust technology and the flexibility to accommodate it for the local market needs. If you have the mobility project and you would like to discuss it, please meet us uh, at Amode Mobile Boot outside. Thank you so much.